At Texas A&M, tradition is everything. As for their women's basketball program, their tradition is winning. Coach Gary Blair has guided the Aggies to 16 straight NCAA appearances, five conference championships, and a national title. This year marks number 50 for Coach, who at 76 has decided to put down the basketball and step away from the court. And we traveled to Aggie land, spoke with him about his journey, and let me tell you, wisdom, selflessness, and positivity all describe this 12th man. But those words don't even scratch the surface of who he is. Here's Texas A&M's women's basketball coach, Gary Blair. That's all about relationships and realizing those kids that are playing for you in the college, you have them from two to three and a half hours a day. Then they're growing up trying to find their dreams because their talent, 98% of them will run out after college and then they're gonna to have to join the workplace. They're gonna to have to use that degree from Texas A&M. Or the gifted ones can go on to the WNBA or to Europe to play, or try it like me, get into coaching. Now, what does 12th Man Athletics mean to you? What does it mean being a coach here in Aggie Land? If I would have been a player at A&M, I would have definitely been the 12th man because I wouldn't have been good enough to be a starter in any sport. Now I would have tried, I would have sit there and say, I'm gonna be the next Spiller or Kellen Mond or whoever the quarterback is gonna be. But I would more or less enjoy being a Jimbo or a Steve Boltman in swimming, teaching them how to live the best life they can, coach them to be the best they can be without the excuses one of my biggest pet peeves in life, and you work with adults, adults refuse to admit to mistakes. Pride. We, we justify. Justify, justify, justify. And that's what we need to do. 18 to 22 year olds say, my bad. How many adults in this world on a business decision or if you're on a church committee or you're a teacher in school, my bad, I gave you the wrong information. Sometimes just admit it. Admit that you might be wrong and you teach yourself a little bit of humble pie that way. You teach yourself life's lessons while they're going on instead of getting back to your car or that social media that has all the answers you think. Social media does not have all the answers. Now let's get back to the game itself of ball. Has there ever been a time in your career where you just wanted to walk away from the sport, from coaching due to whatever adversity you were going through at a certain time? I'm scared to death next year when I'll be 77, what am I gonna do? I juggle a lot of things at once, okay? Whether it's on my way to work, stopping by Shipley's Donuts, giving some free tickets to the lady at the door, going by, picking up my cleaning, running to the office, getting there at nine, handing my practice over to uh, my assistant coach, Greg Brown, to put together, meeting with other people, and then getting over here to do this interview. I like to be involved in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do in retirement? Give back to the game give back to the community, be there for my former students, be there for my athletes that have gone into coaching, and be there for my wife. <laughs>